What's happening, Beard Army? I'm back. And uh, if you've been watching the channel for, I don't know, anything more than a few weeks, you probably know that I pretty much start every video with a bit or some ridiculously terrible joke. But today I want to be serious for a second and just point to the fact that today is actually Remembrance Sunday. So I'd just like to invite you all to take a brief moment just to reflect on the sacrifices made by the millions of people that suffered throughout both world wars and to pay thanks to all those people that sacrificed their freedom, their happiness, and in many cases their lives for the preservation of our freedom. And it still blows my mind that as recently as 80 years ago, kids, you know, 16, 17, 18 year old kids were conscripted to fight, kill, and witness these, these terrible events. Fathers, mothers, daughters, sons, husbands, wives across the globe all lost so much and many paid the ultimate price just so that people like you and me can sit here free men and women. And I think that it's only right and proper that on a day like today, we acknowledge what those people gave up, the sacrifices they, they made for us, you know, if only for, you know, a brief few moments. All right, so now we got the serious stuff out of the way. I thought I would mark the occasion today, the only way I know how, by eating a ridiculous amount of food. Yeah. And one of the most commonly requested videos over the past, I don't know, probably a year. Um, I don't know why it's taken me so long to get around to doing this. I apologize, but uh, one of the most commonly requested videos uh, is an MRE challenge. MRE stands for meal ready to eat, I think. It's basically a military ration pack. So. Today I've got not one, not two, but three entire 24 hour military ration packs, um, which I'm gonna try and eat. First things first though, we gotta unbox this thing, which is probably gonna take a long time. You actually get tissues in this one. Wish all my meals came with tissues. That will come in handy. Final bag of tissues. I'm gonna keep these handy. Well, it took me the best part of 20 minutes, but I finally unpacked all this stuff and each one of these MRE, British Army ration pack things, uh, is just over 3,000 calories each. So between three of them, it's somewhere in the region of 9,200. I don't know if it's my OCD kicking in or something, but I thought we'd try and bump it up to around 10,000 calories, right? So I included these, every soldier's favorite, corned beef sandwiches, jumbo corned beef sandwiches. And that takes us to around about 10,000 calories. And we're not doing things by halves today. Oh no, this is an authentic challenge. I've got these two mess tins that I'm gonna eat out of, so never eaten out of a mess tin before, but should be fun. All right, I'm gonna give myself one hour to do this. So without further ado, this is Beer Meets Food and this is the 10,000 calorie military ration pack challenge. Right, I'll describe the food as I go, but I'm gonna start with these corned beef sandwiches. I thought this was juice, but I think it's actually fruit puree. Kinda like juice though. More like a smoothie. I know there were definitely some juice drinks in here. I'll just find them later. Mm-hmm. 
I think all the powder sank to the bottom. There was a lot of powder in that sachet. When you mix that, that is very sour. Lots of sugar in there. <coughs> right, now the um, corned beef sandwiches are done. I'm gonna try this, the all day breakfast. I'm gonna need the mess tin for this. No idea what this is gonna look like. Oh. <laughs> Oh Lord, good God. Okay, so I'm gonna attack this with a spork. All day breakfast down the hatch. English breakfast, of course. This is actually not half bad. All day breakfast is done. Next I'm gonna go with, I guess it's gonna be kind of similar. This is sausage casserole. That came out a little bit easier. I kind of expected the portions to be a little bit bigger, you know, like... I did some research last night and apparently in World War One, I, I think it was World War One, it could have been World War Two. the average soldier, British soldier at the beginning of the war ate 4,500 calories a day, or at least that's what they got in their ration pack. Which sounds crazy, I mean they'd be burning a lot of energy, but 4,500 calories? I assume it probably decreased, you know, at the end of the war when the country got more economically depressed, but... Sausage casserole done. This is a big one, this is a bean pasta salad. This actually looks pretty tasty. Mm. Next, I think I'm gonna do the tomato and pasta salad. Uh, it's pretty much more of the same, I think. But so far, I'm really impressed. I was actually super looking forward to this beforehand because of course it's all supposed to be like high calorie, very starchy food, which is, you know, the best kind of food, obviously. But uh, yeah, I could eat like this. I think pretty much the final savory meal bag is this. This one is spicy sausage and potato wedges. Personally, I really dislike potato wedges. Probably from years of eating those terrible ones you get at Domino's. <laughs> but there's certainly like the sausage in the army. That sounded weird. I didn't mean any offence by that, there's just a lot of sausage here. I think that is all of the, um, I think that's all of the, um, the savoury stuff. Oh man, it's pretty thick. 
that's all the savory stuff apart from some nuts and, and stuff like that so I'm gonna use the second mess tin for some of the more sweet stuff I'm gonna go in with the rice pudding first I really 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 really, really like rice pudding so much so that I thought about doing a, a rice pudding challenge but I kind of thought it might be a little bit lame so I don't, if you're into the idea of a rice pudding challenge let me know Ugh. the most annoying thing about these meals is the freaking packaging man you know it's kind of Oh god, that rice pudding package just fell on the floor. When's it gonna kill me? This is actually a pretty small portion. You can, uh, you can see that. It's definitely not light rice pudding either. It's the kind it used to get at school. I love rice pudding. Mm. That did not last long at all. <laughs> chocolate pudding with chocolate sauce this time. Carefully, I don't want to make a mess. <laughs> that looks weird. It's just like a wedge. A block of chocolate pudding. There's a little bit of um, rice pudding residue on there. <laughs> that is delicious stuff. Airborne. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of hot chocolate powder. This one is chocolate mint. And if you watch my uh, my Great British Snack Bang challenge, you'll know that I really hate chocolate mint. But whatever. I probably should have made two separate drinks out of this. There was some. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. messiest guy in the world. Let's see if I can mix this up a little bit. This is definitely going to be a little bit lumpy, but whatever. Oh, that's really nice though. This is, this is probably the least I've ever complained <laughs> during a video. Nice. Some more chocolate. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the second chocolate pudding till the end. I think this is uh, muesli. Ugh. This is embarrassing. Ah, oh, there we go. This said it came with milk, so I'm assuming it's dried milk, maybe. Try to add some water to this. I don't know how much water you're supposed to add. This gives me another opportunity to plug another video though. One of my favorite videos that I've filmed in the past half year is the 12 pound muesli challenge, which as far as I'm aware is the most cereal ever eaten on YouTube for a YouTube video. And it's not one of my best performing videos. If you haven't seen that yet, go back and watch it. <laughs> I'm also gonna put in here this dried fruit. I think this is mango and pineapple. Along with the rest of the dried fruit in this muesli. Try and mix it all together. I haven't checked the time yet. 24, 28. 
plenty of time. Although, that's what I thought in that restaurant challenge last week, so. <laughs> Okay, muesli. It's definitely a really nutty muesli. You can tell that they're trying to just, you know, pack as many calories in as possible. All right, the muesli's done. Bring everything in close. I think that's everything. I'm going to use some of these uh, complementary military grade tissues. I'm going to use some of these to uh, clean my beard up just a little bit. <clears throat> you know, another fun fact about World War One is that, as well as you know, getting the rations every day, they got like a grooming kit. A shave kit and you know stuff to wash your hands with and every single soldier in world war one at least if they could grow a mustache they had to wear a mustache um but shave the rest of their face but yeah the uh mustache was a, a mandatory accoutrement to the um uh, british military uniform so it's another lesson for you <laughs> That chocolate drink is very nice. I'm gonna have this oatmeal block next. It doesn't sound too appetizing, but. Ah, why am I so bad at opening packages? <laughs> Got to speed up here. Ah, finally. This is um pretty much just a. This is pretty much just a biscuit. Like a nice oatmeal -y biscuit. Mm. This is a date and strawberry fruit bar. Put some uh, funky dried up fruit. That's interesting. Not entirely pleasant. <laughs> So this is uh, some, ugh, some more like powdered fruit juice. <sighs> Let's get everything left in front of me. The tea. I almost forgot these fruit puree things. Vacuum packed. It's gonna be hard for me to prove that I finished that, but clearly I didn't quite finish it. But these are actually really nice. Fruit explosion. <sighs> right, I'm just gonna put this. Uh... Hope this doesn't have too much caffeine in it. <laughs> this isn't a powdered energy. This is a powdered energy drink. Packaging. I get the feeling this is gonna be really really sour just because I put like two holes the sachets are massive I guess he's probably supposed to mix them in like a liter of water but yeah the sachets are pretty big 
Oh, finally. Right, these are barbecue, barbecue peanuts. Not if you can see in there, but. I think I just had a great idea. I'm gonna put these peanuts in the mess tin. Get all the regular peanuts. Again, I guess the reason they include these is um, high in calories, right? Sometimes I get people um, messaging me that say, how do you eat more? Uh, if you're trying to gain weight, you don't have to eat like huge amounts. Like nuts are super calorie dense. They're pretty much like 700 calories per 100 grams, I think, depending on the nut. But yeah, you don't have to eat much of them. Right, I'm gonna make up the last hot chocolate drink. It's not really gonna be hot chocolate because I don't have any hot water left. <sighs> 20 minutes left. Should be enough time. Okay, this is a smooth peanut butter on top of these. I'm gonna squeeze this on top of these, uh, on top of these peanuts here. One more sachet. I can almost guarantee that no soldier in history has done this with their ration pack. I think this is going to be delicious. It's going to be kind of like a peanut butter and chocolate rocky road, kind of. Oh man, this is like a really terrible nacho cheese you get at cinemas. This was another one that I thought was just not going to be messy at all. It turned out to be probably the messiest one yet. Okay, chocolate pudding's going on top of all these peanuts and peanut butter. Oh. I'm just gonna mash all this together. See, I told you. See, I told you it's just gonna be like a chocolate peanut butter rocky road. I'm not sure about the, the barbecue peanuts though. That might taste a little bit weird. Another <sighs> cereal bar. I don't really know what I'm going to do with these. Why are these individually wrapped? Why? Oh my god. Why is this impossible to open? Right, wait there a second. Should have brought these at the beginning. Oh, it's so sticky, it won't come out of the container. <laughs> Oh, come on! <sighs> this is pretty much all I've got left now. All these sachets of condiments. So I think it would be harsh to include those, but these are just, I, I 
boil sweets. It's going to be like, it's hard enough for me to get them out of the fucking package. It's going to be ridiculously dangerous for me to try and swallow these whole. Can't do it. I'm not going to be able to get these boiled sweets down in the next two and a half minutes. But at least I only failed this time because I'm terrible at opening packages. Not just because, you know, I'm awful at eating. <clears throat> this is Big Meat's Food and that was almost the 10,000 calorie military ration pack challenge. What's this? This is probably like 200 calories left maybe. Close enough.